Hi everyone, this is Eric from DocuData. I'm just going to show you how to uh, install a client DSN for EDCRC for like when you try to install a new workstation. Uh, let's say you want to give a, a workstation, a new workstation access to EDCRC. Uh, one of the steps is to create a client DSN. So it's pretty easy to do. Uh, what you do really, you just go open your pervasive program because one of the prior steps was to install pervasive client. Uh, so here you go. In Pervasive you have the control center so you just start it up. Once you have it, if you go to the tools menu and then ODBC administrator, uh, on some machines you'll get, uh, you might see a, a menu that says 32-bit or 64-bit administrator, just choose the 32-bit one. <coughs> and then you go to the system DSN tab up here, you go add uh, browse to the bottom of the drivers, you're going to choose the client interface which connects to the engine interface on the server really. Finish and the data source name is always the same, it's EDC underscore RC okay. If you were to connect a DSN for the active file software instead you would use EDC underscore client okay but in this case for RC it's EDC RC uh, the, here the name of the IP of the server, you, you type in the IP or the name of the server that EDC is residing on. You might want to have to ask your, uh, your IT staff for that. In my case here I'm just connecting to my local machine as a test so I'm just kind of doing local host. And the transport, I always use TCP IP only. And then you just get the list from your server here. Okay and then once you get the list, you browse the drop down and you associate to the one on the server that it refers to. You know, for for me it's that's that's what it is for EDCRC on my demo on my machine. For you guys it's probably gonna say something like just EDCRC simply. And then you click test to make sure it works. And it works. So you click OK, click OK out of here, and you're done. That's all there is to it.